morning guys this is Josh Stony Ridge Farmer here on the farm today welcome to the farm vlog thanks for watching I'm glad to have you here don't forget to click that like button and subscribe to the channel if this is your first time welcome okay we've got a John Deere 5065 tractor right here behind me I'll turn the camera a little bit so you can see but uh, I've got an issue I've got a grapple on this tractor and a grapple basically is a big grabber on the front of the tractor and I've got a hydraulic leak got to take care of that this morning also got us a load of gravel coming out the uh, timber cutting guys are down here and we'll show you that they've been down there uh, cutting timber you can see their machines right there so just a whole lot of stuff going on here on the farm today hopefully i get you a little bit of footage of the uh, timber cutting guys and we're going to fix this hydraulic leak put a little more gravel on the driveway i've got a spot that's washing being a farmer a lot of stuff that you have to watch out for is washing 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 water 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 so we got to control erosion on the farm best way to do it is with a little bit of rock i guess in our driveway so anyway guys come along we might go check on the goats go see some stuff on the farm here and just do general farm maintenance day today so come along with me Woo! So guys, the issue we're having is with this fitting right here. For some reason, this fitting right here seems to be leaking. The hydraulic line is good, everything's good, but this fitting right here starts leaking. So we're gonna crank up the tractor, raise it up, and check it out. So guys, this hydraulic cylinder right here controls the, the mouth here opening and closing, and I'll show you that in a second. But this right here, you might be able to see it dripping. I'll zoom in on it so you can see. So my drip is coming from right here and you can't really see it, but it's running down the uh, cylinder right here and running right off the end right there. So this is something we gotta take care of so we don't run out of hydraulic fluid in the tractor and ruin the tractor. So we're gonna get on this, probably something simple. We'll just put a little uh, new rubber seal on there maybe or a new brass seal and Get her done. So guys, if you're new to the channel, I'll show you how the grapple works. Basically, I just open and close it like so and uh, aids me in picking up brush and stuff. So if you're curious about what's going on here, I'm going to take it apart real quick and show you and then that's it. Uh, not a whole lot of geeking out on the hydraulic line stuff. Just get it done. So guys, the first thing we're going to do is try to do the right tool for the right job. I've had to repair this thing quickly out in the field and I had to use an adjustable wrench. And you can tell I've used an adjustable wrench. Uh, because it's rounded off a little bit which is not cool um, hopefully I can get away with not having to replace this entire hydraulic line but we'll see um, got to get her off and see how she's doing see what's going on here you have to be careful when working with hydraulic lines because this stuff can really really be under a lot of pressure so it's good to try to relieve the pressure in the uh, with the joystick there before you do this okay and actually we're just going to disconnect our uh, quick connectors to the grapple right here so that I don't have to worry about a pressure issue. You'll need a rag after this because these quick connectors always make a mess. Always make a mess. And they're on pretty tight right now, which means I did have some pressure. Um, we'll pop it loose, lay it over that way, and we'll pop this guy loose. Or maybe we won't. It's got a lot of pressure on it, so let's uh, wiggle the stick a little bit. Make sure we relieve all our pressure. So we wiggled our stick a little bit and boom, off comes the pressure. Now we don't have to worry about pressure up here. All right, so let's get back over here and take a look. Um, crack my hydraulic line a little bit. It's already leaking. I think the issue is we're just not tight enough here. So I figured out the issue, okay? The issue is just we're just not tightening up enough. I'll show you right here. So like I said, if you don't want to get geeked out on this stuff, you don't have to, but this is a set screw right here, okay? This set screw spins and tightens this piece down, okay? So this piece kind of rotates a little bit so you can get a good angle on it. Well, I need to take this loose so that I can twist this piece in a little bit tighter and get my seal. Tell you what we're gonna do, we're gonna take that loose so we'll take this all the way off the hydraulic cylinder. Ah, and I see my problem. Total problem right here. So here's my problem, guys. It's this little rubber seal right here, okay? Must have been over-tightened at some point. So I think I've got some new rubber seals. 
we'll go get a new one and slide her on there. So awesome guys, this was a quick, easy fix. We had a little broken uh, rubber ring here and I just so happened to have new rubber rings. So we put a new rubber ring on, we'll put it all back together and get back to working on the farm here. Awesome, awesome thing. I'm glad it was a simple fix. I did not want to put Teflon tape on this because Teflon tape really wasn't the right thing to do. So hopefully this rubber seal will work just fine. Rad. Go ahead and get our line back on. Get the right angle on here. Snug this guy down. And then snug down our uh, set nut. I wouldn't call it a set screw, I'd call it a set nut. The situation was it started leaking. Evidently that rubber seal broke. And I just didn't uh, take the time to see what it was. I was out working with the machine and I just needed to tighten it up. So squeezing that rubber seal even tighter didn't do any good. Just got to do it right. So we'll put her nice and snug. Hopefully not have this problem again. Wipe her off good. Fire the tractor back up and we'll see if we've still got a leak. Uh, my suspicion is that we will not have a leak. Always wipe your tools down when you get done too. Don't put up a dirty tool. This thing's leaked a crap ton of hydraulic fluid, so we'll need to check our hydraulic fluid on our tractor also. We'll hook our lines back up and we'll fire up the tractor. It's kind of hard to show you on film, but these fittings basically just push in. They're quick connect fittings. Uh, basically push in and lock. And sometimes, they can be a bit of a bugger. There we go. One popped in. And the next one popped in. Now let's fire the tractor, get that hydraulic pressure back up. This is a self bleeding system, so any air I got in the hydraulic line will bleed out. Grapple works good. Watching for any leaks, any drips. Do a visual inspection here. See if there's any drips, any any leak areas. Um, looks as if we solved the problem. On to the next project. The dump truck should be here in just a minute. We're going to dump a load of crush run gravel. Basically, I've got a spot in my driveway that's a little bit low, and water is washing over it and washing away my rock. So we want to build it up a little bit. So while our hands are greasy, and basically I have these gloves on because I'm a nurse, I work at the hospital, and I don't want greasy, nasty fingernails, and you don't want your nurse to have greasy, nasty fingernails. Anyhow, what we're going to do here is we're going to take our grease gun, and we're going to lubricate all the moving parts here on the bush hog so that when we get ready to mow, we'll be ready to rock and roll, lubricated, ready to go for four hours. So depending on the model bush hog that you have, you may have different lubrication points. I'll tell you about the lubrication points on this Woods. This is a Woods model... BB72, and this is a big, heavy duty bush hog, okay? It's more like a brush cutter. It'll take sticks like that big, okay? That big, there you go, you can see it. Basically, we've got some lubrication points. We've got some on the rotating wheel assembly here, the actual wheel itself, and the rotating assembly that goes into the tractor right here. So you just gotta turn it and find the lubrication point and squirt some grease in there. And basically, my rule of thumb is I, I do this every four hours and I squirt grease till I hear it go pop. And basically that pop is uh, the old grease breaking loose and you can't really hear it when I do it on camera but it goes, it's kind of a noise, like a, like a. So anyhow, we'll go ahead and lube the bush hog. Make sure we inspect, do a good visual inspection. We'll look underneath and make sure everything's safe and visually we'll inspect everything, make sure our blades are sharp, not beat up, not bent, not cracked, everything's good. And we'll get to mowing with it and we'll know that we're safe and we're well lubricated so that our equipment lasts a long time. So when I do this, I take a rag and I wipe off my grease fittings before I put grease in because I don't want to push dirt into my grease fitting. There's my pop. You probably couldn't hear it on camera, but that's okay because I heard it. Now, this grease fitting's clean. We'll go ahead and pop it on there. Got a little window over here. We'll inspect our clutch. Make sure everything looks good there. And we have a, uh, this is a moving apparatus right here. We have a grease fitting in here. We need to find it and lubricate it. So once you've done the visual inspection underneath of your blades, you can go ahead and level your bush hog off. That will help you to spin this rotating shaft so that you can lubricate it well, okay? Be careful spinning this shaft and don't get under the bush hog unless you've got jack stands underneath it. If any of you guys have any other tips, be sure and leave a, leave a message there, okay? Any of you tractor guys out there, because I know there's folks out there that have more tractor knowledge than me. 
always have a rag when you do this, okay? You're gonna make a mess on yourself. That was the pot. We'll go ahead and disconnect here. Find our lubrication point and grease her up good. Or we'll just make a big mess. I always like to make sure that my shaft is well lubricated also. Right here. Just shoot a little grease on that. This is easy with new equipment. Older equipment, pain in the butt. So guys, we'll go over the common lubrication points for most brush cutting bush hog type mowers, okay? There's a fitting on this rotating assembly right here, and then there's a fitting on the tire. There are also two fittings on most of these shafts right here. So there's a fitting on this rotating portion and another fitting on this. If you can't get to that one, just pop it out and lubricate it, okay? So we do a visual inspection, okay? We make sure there's no leaks, nothing broke, nothing cracked, anything that we need to address quickly. And I found something I need to address, okay? Check it out. So I've got a bolt over here, but I got no bolt over here, okay? So this bolt at some point has loosened itself up and sheared off. We gotta find a new bolt. Safety, 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 and equipment maintenance, okay guys? If you maintain your equipment, you take good care of it, you do what you're supposed to do, things might not break. They are gonna break, anything mechanical is eventually going to fail, but something you need to do is do your due diligence in maintaining your equipment. We're also gonna check our hydraulic fluid because I know I dripped out a little bit of hydraulic fluid this thing holds like four or five gallons of hydraulic fluid, so it should be just fine, but we're gonna check it anyway. So right here's our dipstick for our hydraulic fluid. And I didn't know how to work this, but basically all you do is just loosen this guy and pull him out, okay? And you check your hydraulic fluid and it says fill or add. Um, we're looking pretty low, to be honest with you, but we really should check this when the, uh, when the tractor's at optimal operating temperature.